I am Paolo, I'm 31 years old and I'm originally from Italy, uh, but I now live in Lisbon. When I was a kid, I started singing, as many kids do, and until a later stage of my life, I did not realize how important it, it really was. I was studying as an opera singer. I've done it for four years, and then I, I decided not to go farther with the opera career, but it kept being part of my life, and I, I'm still using music as a mean of powerful expression of my true self. Paula Lovely is my drag persona. She was kind of a joke, you know. My friends started saying that next step will be Brazil and then her new boobs. I was about to leave for um, a scholarship and study at university in Brazil, but then I've never left because diagnosis came like 10 days before my departure and I decided I was not in good conditions to, to leave and go anywhere else. My HIV diagnosis came when I was 23 and yeah, that was a big shock. It was a big shock. So I felt like my life needed a radical change. I decided to move abroad and I needed to regain some energy to look after myself and that's what Portugal gave to me. I arrived in Portugal and Paula Lovely decided to participate in the LGBT parade in Lisbon. And before I sang, I came out publicly as a person living with HIV and just gave a very short speech saying, people will acknowledge that we exist, that we live, and that we are exactly as anybody else. Saying positively, we're here, we're also queer sometimes, and we're still alive and we're doing well and we can go much farther than, than we've been doing until now. I still do party and I'm still the crazy person I was. I, I just do it a little bit more consciously. My health has been overall good. The health of my lungs is very important to me. I've tried to quit smoking several times and I managed to reduce dramatically the intake of nicotine and cigarettes in my daily life. If you haven't started smoking yet, just don't start. The moment when you decide to openly speak about your HIV status, it is so empowering, it is so liberating, because you are owning that information, it's yours and nobody can take it away. It's a very important tool of empowerment for both individuals and communities to speak out. HIV is just a part of me, because it has affected many things in my life, but not the way I am.